What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, I'm Allison. Welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. If you haven't subscribed already, make sure you do that. In today's video, we are testing out some new Kylie Cosmetics from the Weather Collection. Now, I will just say I did not want to purchase the entire Weather Collection basically because I purchased all of the holiday collection from her holiday collection obviously and I was just pretty disappointed and I did not want to spend that much money on her new collection even though I did like a lot of what was in the collection now when it launched I was a little late to the party because I was not on fire that day and I kind of got to the website a little late like 11 minutes late and I really wanted to get the liquid eyeshadows because I really wanted to test those out once I got onto the website, the liquid eyeshadows were already sold out, so I'm pretty bummed about that. I'm waiting for them to relaunch because I still want to purchase those because I still want to try them because I'm super into liquid eyeshadows right now. With that said, the only thing that I purchased was the Calm Before the Storm eyeshadow palette. I liked this one more than the Eye of the Storm eyeshadow palette just because I felt like the colors in here were more spring. I'm trying to venture out into like like bright different colors so I only bought this one so we will be doing some swatches on this palette we will also be putting some shadows on the eyelids to see how they look if you want to see how this palette works out for me then make sure you keep on watching let's first talk about this packaging I think it is just too cute I think it's pretty simple just like her other palettes it has her little sticker on the back it's like super holographic I think that's totally cute as well she did change it up by putting I don't think she always put her full name on there but I, I could be wrong let's open it up and I think the inside of the packaging is so so cute as well I thought that was a good thought that went into it and here is the little palette itself and it says Kylie Jenner I don't believe she's ever used her full name on a palette like this so I think that is pretty cute I love the bright yellow it's perfect for spring I just think it's so cute how many times am I going to say that? On the back it has her sticker again, all the ingredients, all the shade names on here as well. Let's open it up. Ooh. It does not have a mirror. I think it would have been pretty nice to have a mirror, especially since this palette was $40. Ten eyeshadows, that's $4 a piece. I mean, when you look at it that way, I guess it is a pretty good deal. But dang, Kylie, like, how, why go back and forth of having mirrors in your palettes and then not having mirrors in the palette? I love these colors. Super pastel. I like how you have the matte shade that goes specifically with the shimmer shade. I think it's a good color scheme. I think it's perfect going into spring. Let's just get into some swatching, okay? So I'm gonna kind of swatch, you know, the duos together just so we can see. I'm gonna dip into the pink. It is called True Love. These shadows seem very creamy. You can definitely see the product on my hand. There seems to be some good color payoff. Yeah, it's just like a pastel-y pink color. Pretty cute. Dip into that pink shimmer. This is called Sweet Sweet. I'm only guessing. A lot of product comes off on the finger as well. It seems to be a little gritty. Like it's not creamy. It seems to be a little powdery. Seems like there might be a lot of fallout. There is like blue, turquoise, maybe even a little bit of purple reflex in it. So those colors definitely go well together. I do like the shimmer. It's like a holographic type feel for me right now. Now moving on to the orange shades. So this matte orange yellow shade is called Sunshine. Not as much pigment comes off on the hand, but you definitely can see the color. That'll probably be like a cute transition shade. The shimmer, which is called Little Wonder a whole lot of product on my finger. It is kind of the same texture as the pink shimmer. Pretty yellow orange shimmer color. Moving on to the green shadows. So the matte green is called Northern Light. Feels just like the other matte shades. Ooh, this is pretty. This has a lot of pigment in it. Wow, look at that. Moving into the green shimmer, which is called Rockabye. This one has a different texture than the other two shimmers. It seems more creamy. Doesn't seem as, like, gritty. This one might be a little more sheer. Yeah, this one's definitely a little more sheer. The matte blue is called Angel. This one almost seems a little chalky. Yeah, a little chalky, maybe almost looks white on my 
arm. Dipping into the shimmer under that is called Star Baby. This one might be a little sheer as well, but I mean, I can still see it. The purple matte is called Aquarius. So pastel -y. Dipping into the purple shimmery color, and that's called Heaven Scent. This one feels like the green shadow. It's more creamy. It doesn't seem so gritty and loose pigment type. Oh, this is like very holographic. Like it's purple, but then I'm looking in the mirror and it looks like blue, kind of. Isn't it crazy how you see something online and you kind of fall in love with it? You get the product and then it doesn't, you're not getting the same feel from it. That's kind of the vibe I'm getting from this palette. Like I really, really liked how it looked online. I liked the swatches that I saw online. And then here I am with it in front of my face and I'm just kind of like, mm. Should I have gotten the other palette? I don't know. So with that, I think I'm going to zoom you guys in just a little bit and get some of these shadows on my eyes. Okay, we are zoomed in. I had to like pin the wig back just a little bit. <laughs> and now let's get some of these shadows on my eyes. I might as well just use a Kylie brush, right? So this is a Kylie brush. We are going to dip into the orange yellowish matte shade. A lot of product comes off on the brush. My eyes are already primed. Okay, so far, I mean, it's cute. It's, you can definitely see it. It's nothing too crazy. The pigment's not like out of this world or anything. It's cute. Okay, that's a good start. Using the same Kylie brush, we're dipping straight into that pink matte shade and it was called True Love. There is a little bit of fallout using the brush on these matte shades, so just remember that. And we're going straight kind of into the crease. What I'm noticing is that I just feel like they didn't necessarily blend out together. I feel like the pink just kind of took off like that yellow orange shade a little bit. I don't know. I'm just kind of like, what? Let's mix them. We're mixing them now. I don't see like any patchiness or anything like that. I just don't know if I'm living for this palette like I thought I was going to, which is pretty freaking disappointing if you ask me. Can you guys even see the shades on my eyelids? Because I feel like, ah, uh, they're just, <laughs> I don't know. Let's move on to the shimmer shade on my lid. I am really kind of scared about the fallout in these uh, shimmer shadows because I already have all my makeup on and I don't want it to be a hot freaking mess. Dipping into that pink shimmer that's called Sweet Sweet, straight on my finger, straight onto the lid. That actually is pretty pretty. There is definitely turquoise and purple, maybe even a little green in there. So I want to wet my finger actually and see if there's like more color payoff. Well, wetting my finger definitely added some more color payoff, but then I'm like, uh, is it doing something weird? feel like it's getting a little patchy. Ugh. I'm dipping into the pink matte shade just to kind of blend everything out in the crease. So there's not as much fallout on my face that I thought there was going to be. I feel like closest to my lash line, it just looks a little chunky maybe. Maybe I put too much on there. I am going to finish putting that shimmer on this eyelid. I'm going to put some lashes on and we'll be back with our final thought. We are back, you guys. I just felt like I needed some black eyeliner and and man, I murdered this black highlighter. I hope you can't tell, but it is not looking okay. But anyways, I ended up putting the pink matte and like the orange matte on my bottom lash line. And then I just added a little pop of color with this blue 
eyeliner from it's an Ulta Beauty blue eyeliner and I just put that on my waterline for a little pop of color I will say I am just not impressed with this palette whatsoever I'm just not impressed I don't think like it's wowing me I think I could have gone without spending the $40 on this palette if you are not sure if you want to purchase it and you have all kinds of eyeshadow palettes don't waste your money on this I wouldn't um, if I could turn back in time I would definitely not purchase it maybe I would purchase the other one I'm not too sure but I'm just not impressed I just feel like I don't know and I feel like these shades are actually like popping out like they're gonna fall out I don't know I'm just it's I'm very disappointed that I spent the money on this palette I'm just like uh, uh whatever you know I am wearing Candy K on my lips I just decided to wear a Kylie Cosmetics lip color today since I'm reviewing her palette I will say even though I'm not feeling this palette I'm still interested in those liquid eyeshadows when they relaunch I will be trying those out I might even film a video on those as well just because why freaking not hopefully I gave you a little insight on this palette if you are looking to purchase it or I don't know. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this Kylie Jenner, Kylie Cosmetics, Calm Before the Storm eyeshadow palette first impression, then please give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment down below, and of course subscribe to my channel. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!